Welcome back, Dark Souls fans, to Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3. I remain your host, Chad Fury 333 and we are continuing along with the archers. But there's a path down there, so I figured that's probably the way to go. I mean, I realize that the real problem is the guy summoning the archers over there, but... You know. Ah! Shoot! That's right. I'm supposed to wait three shots. Alright, let's try that again. One... Two... Three... Okay, you're done. So once I get to that ring area, that's where my next step is. I think. Ow. Might have dropped a bit too far, but that works. Soul of a Crystal in the Night. And what's over here? Hey, it's a Titanite Lizard. No, not the cliff, not the cliff. Uh, okay. Don't, don't cliff on me. You probably have chunks. No, you have scales. Also good. Okay, so we have an alternate path. Does this bring you back up to the guy who's summoning those archers? Because I guess that'd be good, but I feel like that'd possibly be suicide by other means. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's... Well, I guess it's a different location to work from. So, skeleton, come over here. Ow. All right, so the idea is sound. The problem was just that I got damaged and didn't realize it by something. Okay, so clearly the way to go is run up the ladder and then just run like hell at the guy who's summoning those archers. That's... that's my next strategy. Wait, what? I guess this is one of them gods. Ah. Shoot. Well, he's dead now. And there's a divine blessing, and possibly an item I will never get. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Maybe it'll come back. Who knows? I mean, it's a giant. It's a giant humanoid thing. Presumably it's a god. I mentioned before, this seems to remind me of Van Orlando, and they do come back. Okay. This reminds me of Van Orlando. And I realized, after I said that, that that could actually be said about Irithyll, like the whole city of Anor Londo that we didn't get to see in Dark Souls 1, that was Irithyll. So, I mean, this could be a different time. And it's very much Dark Souls god E because that's how gods work in Dark Souls. The Dark Souls universe gods are just giants. There's big dudes. That's basically what makes you a god. You're 10 feet tall. I mean, there's ways of being 10 feet tall. That, that's the thing that happens to some people. Okay, actually, no, I think Max is like 7 or 8 feet tall, and then you die. You die of being too tall. Ow. Okay, how do I kill this thing? Okay, there's got to be some consistent way of killing this thing. I had killed it. I gotta figure out what to take cover with this thing.
There we go. Now we kill a god. And you have Titanite Chunks. Alright, awesome. Let's continue. Actually, let's go back. There should be a couple skeletons still here, but I want to make sure I didn't miss anything now that this area is clear. I think I got everything. I mean, I think I was able to, during all the commotion, actually find the different corpses and grab them. And Still, I would think there's something I would miss. Nope. Save zone, save zone. Maybe back here, because this area had stuff. Is there a drop-off I can take? Not survivably, no. Okay, never mind then. Let's continue. So, I'm guessing there'll be more of these as I continue, because this seems like... Seems like the setup It's always had to go. They set up something, some new enemy, some new obstacle, some aspect of the game that you have to consider relevant. And then it becomes relevant and becomes more relevant, and then eventually you have to deal with it in, like, two or three at once kind of a setup. But it looks like I actually could have run straight past it anyway. The killing it was a little unnecessary. Okay, well, hopefully anything further that has a similar pattern will have a similar Many amount of... Many are by the fire, forsaken. I speak of thine kind and mine. Behold this city. We are kindred, but like two eyes which gaze upon the other. Fear not the dark, my friend, and let the feast begin. One was a wayfaring knight on an endless, forbidden search. Only the abyss granted closure, if not reunion with his beloved. Fear not the dark, my friend, and let the feast begin. So it's probably Artorias. I'm guessing they talk about every single hero from Dark Souls 1. Many of us are by the f I speak fear. No. Nope. What? Only the fear. No, okay, but I guess Artorias is relevant. Thank you, messages. Ow. Okay, whatever. My guess is the point there is that if you had a shield, it would knock your shield away, and then you have to deal with them. But, since I don't... Oh, wait. Wrong game. Oh, shoot! Ah! Darn it. I was trying to do a charged strong attack in order to get a backstab, but that's not necessary in Dark Souls 3. You just have to hit them with the right weak attack, and you get a backstab for free. And then, of course, I fall. Now, whatever. At least I know a way around. I mean, I don't have to kill that god thing every time. I just have to do it the one time because I wanted to get the chunk. Actually, I guess I really have to do it the one time to get the divine blessing because afterwards, I guess you could farm chunks off of them, but for one thing, I don't even know if that's a consistent thing you can do, and for another, I don't know how much you could actually farm chunks off of them. I mean, really, when you think about it, that's not an easy enemy to fight. I mean, it's quite an involved process. I could just kill 13,000 souls worth of enemy and buy a Titanite chunk. Going through all that trouble just seems worthless. Unless it clears out the next area too, in which case that might actually be worth something. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Hello. Oh, that's what you're trying to do. Well, too bad. You try to push me off the cliff. I shall push you off the cliff. Oh. Is that your entire... Ow. It's your entire MO, huh? Pushing people off cliffs. What a jerk. Oh, I forgot to have a crossbow loaded. I... Uh... Seriously? I can't even roll attack you. You're just gonna hit me through it? Fine, whatever. Alright, so hopefully no more phantom archers pop up. I'd rather not have to kill that thing up top again. Be wary of trap. Thank you. Oh, crap. Double trap. I mean, thanks for the message. A little late, though. I'll actually be a nice person here and set up a message that helps people. Let's see. 
ambush is in here, right? Really? I... Really? Where is ambush? Oh, maybe it's not anywhere? I used to... Okay, I want to tell people that there's an ambush ahead, because then people would know, hey, hey, there's an ambush ahead, rather than being halfway in the middle of it before it goes and happens to you. Oh, there it is. Techniques. So people actually know before they get to that point that, hey, there's an ambush ahead. Oh. Die? Oh, what the... Ugh, you're annoying. How do you even push through my attacks? Okay, I realize the active frames haven't started yet, but still. Nah. Alright, so what's in here then? Because I assume the trap meant this room, which actually has a bonfire. Which is a real bonfire. Although I realize that actually hasn't been a thing in Dark Souls 3. That was a thing in Dark Souls 2, but not in 3. I don't know why I'm still paranoid about it. It's been... At least 100 hours worth of game between the two for me. But for some reason, that stuck with me. Okay, a dung pie. Oh, right, this thing. Yeah, the, I believe it's the dung pie you can use without toxifying yourself. Nope, you still toxify yourself. What? What the hell hit me? Why do curses keep happening at random? Ugh, that's one thing this DLC's been bugging me with. It's like, I do a thing, it seems alright, and then suddenly I'm cursed. What the heck? How did I suddenly get cursed? Well, I noticed there's a spider web or something over there, so maybe that's what was doing it. If I stand here... Oh, yeah, shoot. I didn't even notice. So anyway, I was wondering about stock dung pies. Oh, okay. It's probably just some technicality or something. Yeah, it's a dude. It's not a targetable dude. Oh, it's Patches again. Well. Oh. What now? Oh, no, you're somebody else. Oh. No, no, you're Patches. Well, fancy meeting you here. A true blessing that we should seek the same place and find ourselves standing here together. I've got the last of my brew. Let's have our own little toast with it. To my search and to your duty and to the joy that lies before us. All right then. Bottoms up. <laughs> now... I'm off in search of the purging monument. Once I find it, everything will come back to me. Who I was, what I lived for, what my name was, and what terrible grudges I held. I don't know. I just have this feeling that that's the kind of man I was. Oh, don't hold it against me. I only think I was. <laughs> yeah, you're going to kick me down a pit. Now, you're, like, as soon as you find out that you hate clerics for whatever reason, I still don't know, you're going to kick me down a pit. Because of course you will. Because you're Patches. You jerk. I should come to think of it, do I have anything I want to upgrade that I haven't really upgraded? How many Titanite chunks do I have anyway? Hmm. 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 I'll be back in a sec. Alright, let's deal with this curse stuff. Ah. That was annoying. Okay, now let's deal with this curse stuff. Oh, I see. It's a very specific part of the whole... Oh! Oh, it's not the spider webs. It's just the thing that was there doing a curse thing silently. Okay, good. Oops. 
There we go. You're dead now. Be wary of trap. Thank you. Yes, that was pretty obvious. It was a... I hadn't killed them yet, so I figured they must be. Oh, it's just like being nearby curses me? Wow. Also, holy... Oh, wow, that's a lot of souls I'm getting. That's actually quite nice. I was just upgrading one of my weapons because I figured, why not? I've got chunks. I've got souls to buy more chunks. I've got souls to upgrade weapons with. Seems like a good idea. Okay. Aw, oh, come on. Seriously? Wow, how did I avoid that hit? Or that hit! I should by all rights be dead by now! Okay, there we go. That's... I deserved that. I really should have died several times before that happened, but... I hadn't. Oh well. I'll kill him next time. What? Ah, no oh, stamina. Okay, now it's dead. And I have Titanite Chunks. And I have more souls to buy Titanite Chunks with. But I have nothing I can upgrade for four Titanite Chunks. So we shall continue. Oh, hey, you're more of those cursed ones. Wait, there's no none of your friends on the walls? Good, and more Titanite Chunks. Actually, one more Titanite Chunk, and I could upgrade weapons a bit more. I could have a fully upgraded claymore, which is kind of funny, even though I probably won't ever use it, because that, even though it was my original greatsword weapon, I'm basically sticking with the Wool Knight greatsword, most likely. Although I also have the Drake Blood greatsword, which is kind of neat. I mean, it would be an interesting alternative, because it does magic and lightning damage. Aha! Oh. What do you do? Are you, like, slowing me down or something? Oh, you're a Londor Pilgrim. Oh, ow, ow, ow. What is this miracle? I want it. Oh, I must be a draining miracle of some kind. Ah, shoot. There we go. Just hit him hard. That works, too. Ah, I don't have a miracle for me. I thought you had a miracle for me. I'd kill you and get a miracle, and everyone would be happy. Except you, because you're dead. But, you know, everyone who's not you. Namely me. This looks weirdly familiar. Also, you die. Ow. You die and stay dead. Ow. Oh, wait, now it reminds me of a level in Painkiller. It's not even a Dark Souls thing it reminds me of. Nice. Well, I'm glad to see you're dead. For obvious reasons. You're trying to kill me! What do you expect me to want? I want those who kill me to stop, which generally involves killing them first. Actually, these enemies are fairly easy since I have the firepower for it. Alright, so I take it that I could possibly drop in the chandelier and then I'll probably drop down and hit them. And I suppose that is one way to go. Are there any up staircases or anything? Anything that brings me back to the bonfire? If there was a shortcut there, I did see. Alright, so there's a chandelier. There's another one of them knights. And that guy got my attention. Or, I have their attention. What? Ah, oh, shoot, they can hit me from there.
Okay. So the knight's not coming at me that hard. I wonder if the enemies I'm dealing with are on the top level or the mid level. No, you fell and died. Ugh, they must be higher up. Can't find either of them or any of them. Okay, so there's got to be one of them around here somewhere, and I don't know where. And I remember seeing as I was... Ah, there you are. That explains the people dying, because they probably tried to go here, from here, down to there, by jumping. While under pressure, because there's one thing that this DLC's been consistent about. It's doing things that force the players to act under great pressure. Ow. Yeah, that explains the bloodstains. If there is a way through there, I have no clue what it is. Very likely you're just supposed to go past. That was silly of me. What? Okay, I mean, of course it would be fire. That's always fire. So it always goes on here. Swords with fire. Why wouldn't it be spears with fire? But why is your fire still there? Regardless, backstab! Just in time, too, to avoid that silly spell. Hopefully I can get rid of you before you spear out. No! Ow! Okay. Just needs to not get hit. Oh, wow. That was, that was a good dodge. Okay, so it loses fire when the wave comes out, but otherwise... Unlike the sword, it's basically got fire for just about ever. Can I kill you? Ah, oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is dead. Ow. Okay, forget it. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go past. See ya. Fight you later. This is to figure out how to get to that one guy in the middle. I mean, maybe it's the chandelier. I'm not sure. I just am thinking the chandelier is gonna collapse if I jump on it, and that'll kill me. Of course, I could be wrong. It could actually be the only way up there. Ow! Hey, what the? <sighs> Man. Anyway, yes, the chandelier probably would be the way to go. Try that out later. Anyway, what's over here? Okay. Something about a dark spirit. Doesn't seem like a whole lot's going on here. Okay, never mind. Hey, you again. I haven't seen you since... What was that area? Oh, right, right, the Aerithal Dungeon. The leader of the Aerithal Dungeon, that's where you were. Except you were actually just called Alva, Seeker of the Spurned, and not... Nameless. And also less threatening. Ow. Holy crap, I left a lot of so souls there. Hmm, I need to go back and get those. I guess I don't really need to, but, you know. Okay, again, run past. Just don't need to worry about them. Oh, this little back area here. Good thing I checked. Still, I have to deal with all those ogres coming on the bottom, so... Good luck with that. Is there anything over to the right? No, no, there is not. I guess we're back to Alva. Hey, let me through, you jerk. Oh, no. All right, just need to get through this, and then get my souls back. Maybe fight the secret that's burned. Oh, not again. Ah. Oh, thank God I've survived that. I'm guessing there's a boss fight up there, which is why I don't want to go up there. At least not until... Oh, damn it! I can't tell where anything is. There's supposed to be a shortcut somewhere here. Well, I guess there's no point fighting the secret of the spurn for now. 
wanted my souls back, but clearly I'm not getting those. I mean, it's not huge. It's just the principle of the thing. I don't need them. I just want them. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in this area. Like, the enemies that are there are not practical to kill. Like, these ones are okay. The other ones, it's either involving weird jumps or it's going to involve some really, really painful fights that I don't really feel like dealing with. Hence, I'm not. I'm also running out of stamina faster than I really should. Maybe I should put on the Claranthe ring. I don't have to deal with that as much. Ah, shoot. Ah, what?! Oh, damn it, why am I so bad at judging 3D space? Or distance in 3D space? Well, this isn't in 3D space when I'm projected onto a 2D monitor, I should say, because technically that's what is actually the case. Thank you! Now die. At least every chunk I get is one less chunk I have to buy, so souls become less relevant. Like I said, it's almost a curiosity at this point, but I mean, seeing as this is pretty close to the end, and I... I guess I might need chunks for weapons that I get off of the DLC, but I don't know if I'm going to get any that I like at this point. Oh, no. Shoot, I knew there was something like that. I figured it had a jumping attack at some point. It just never came up. Because I never fell for it before. Aha, that's how you get to this middle spot. Chandelier is useful. What is up here then? What do I get for being here apart from lose but getting rid of that guy? And it looks like nothing. Twinkling Titanite. Hey, getting rid of that one guy is kind of its own reward, so I'll take it. I should fight this knight in peace. Well, apart from the knight. Ah! Darn it, I should have date protection first. That was a mistake. Ah, let me heal! You jerk! I can't see anything! I don't get health back when I attack. That's been really messing with me. Which I know it sounds weird, because it's like, well, Dark Souls has never been like that. You're right, it hasn't been, but I'm not used to Dark Souls! So it's not helping me. Yes! Backstab! Finally finish you off. What do you have on you? A Titanite scale, that's useful, I'm sure. Actually, that's why I don't care about Titanite chunks so much, because the most likely weapons that I'll like are boss weapons. And boss weapons are, of course... Actually, I have almost as much souls as I had before. Boss weapons are, of course... Speak thee the name of God. Thine own God, if thou canst recall. Sure. Ah, then thou's not forgotten. Perhaps tis why we may converse. I am known as Shira. Servant to the Princess Filianor, matriarch of the church. They who are kin to God's name are surely kin to the terrors of the dark. Like the thing Please. behind me? I as the fire wit. I'm sorry, I can't speak anymore! I'm dying! Okay, let's see if I can kill this guy. I don't like these things. I have no way of criticaling them. Unless they critical from taking enough damage, but... 
Ah, uh, damn it! I need to talk to someone, you jerk! Why did you put? Why did the game designers put a door there? You're supposed to talk to someone when there's an enemy coming at you. What am I supposed to do about that? Like, I'm sorry, people watching. You're gonna have to watch subtitles because I can't listen to the conversation all the way through. That's clearly not an option. So, yeah, sorry about that, but that's the best I can do. Subtitles work from there. Sorry, voice actor who did that. But blame the company that put your stuff in a place that you can't access without threat. Thou slips in his nose. May perhaps Medea is he once railed against the dark to watch over the sleep, and yet, before the dark, I offer my sins. Please, I have asked a thing. I beg a thing. Okay, cool. Kill a dragon. Got it. That's pretty typical. Of course, I have to do all these jerks. Nice the friendly fire. Ow! I think I can stun more than I really can. That's been a problem. Oh, would you go away? I cannot beat you! I get it! Go away! I'm not gonna fight you. I'm not gonna make a fight I can't win! Like, they deal too much damage. They don't take enough damage. They don't get stunned. I cannot win. My only hope is that they kill the other things. Because I cannot beat them. Maybe I have once, but it's not efficient. I'm just going to try one more try on this whole setup and then call it an episode. All this stuff at once. You know what? Screw it. I could probably just run away from all this crap. As long as I stay far enough away from the ogre that I don't provoke it, I should be fine. Why not rolling? Oh, no energy, that's why. Or stamina, rather. Oh, did the ogre spot me again? If I use shields, I would actually rather like your shield, but I don't use shields, so you can keep it. Okay, so the two paths that we haven't really taken are the one that leads to the Dark Spirit fight. Not this one, that's not a path. So one leads to Seeker the Spurned, which is up here? Where was that path? Or was it like Alva? Yep. How did you hit me? Uh, I can never judge distance. So annoying. Like, actually... Ah, I'm sure... I mean, I pointed out before that I was playing Monster Hunter. And obviously playing on a 3DS, because that's where you play Monster Hunter. And, yeah, I actually have the 3D feature on all the time because I find it way easier to judge distance when the screen is actually projecting a stereoscopic image. Like, it's way easier to judge distance and depth. Also, way easier to hit things when I have a giant sword that's as tall as I am. That helps, too. Ooh, wolf ring plus three. That's... I mean, it's a ring plus three. I, I guess that's good. What was wolf ring again? It was, like, criticals or something? No, criticals is a hornet ring. What is... Oh, no, Leo ring, never mind. Poise! Okay, whatever. 
Hornet rings. No, Hornet ring is critical. That's what I did. I was right. All right, well, that's cool. But I'm fine with just having killed you. Kind of strange that they'd have a, I guess, an old, old version of Gwyn... No, is it Gwyn's ring? No, Artorius's ring. Also, witch stuff. Black witch hat. The purple hat of the witch Zuli, who intended to seduce Alpha the Wayfarer, but eventually became his closest supporter, spending her entire life with him. The pointed hat is a symbol of a heretical magical crest, and Zuli wore hers with an unspoken but deep sense of pride. I think actually that's... I can't remember if I, Alva was two. Anyway, Purple Guard of the Witch, Zuli, intended to do this Alva the Wayfarer, etc. It is said that Zuli the Witch, who was never loved nor loved another, experienced all manner of misfortune, and yet, in the end, found her purpose in life. Not you. Okay, I'm not... Oh, here it is. Zuli the Witch never loved, and the... Zuli the Witch never loved. Okay, cool. What's the... Does the Wolfring have any description that's different? Ah. Artorius had a minimal wood of steel and has matched the greatsword. I think I have the other one in my storage box. The standard Wolfring. I mean, I don't really need it because I'm not based on poise. I imagine it might become useful. I'll have to keep it in mind that I have it, but I don't imagine I'll use it just because I can't think of where I need it. I'm not playing a heavy armor build. Good for those who do, though. Oh, right, and there was actually a charm here, too, that I was going to check out, because... Or, not a charm, a chime. Or was it? Sacred Chime of Filionor. A sacred chime, breast, a sacred chime blessed by the Princess Filionor, matriarch of the church. Filionor's favor knows no boundaries, and this sacred chime expands the range of vicinity affecting miracles that heal, cure, or provide other enhancements. Skill is pray for favor. Heal HP very slowly for a duration of time. Affects caster and those in vicinity. So, standard chime, gentle prayer, but better. So it's all about being super cleric -y, healing everyone around you. That's kind of neat, actually. There actually hasn't been anything like that in Dark Souls. It's a nice bit of co-op weaponry. I like that. Anyway, I'm going to call it here. Probably actually going to teleport back to the bonfire and then take this another route. So, for now, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.